it's important to note that you know medically you see things over there that you don't see here. You see crazy skin conditions. You see uh, crazy infectious diseases that you don't see here. You see um, you know open fractures for years. You see things that we typically don't think you survive from in the United States. Most of these conditions are really preventable. You can prevent them if you have a doctor at hand. The drive in to Uganda or from Entebbe to Masindi was, I kind of felt like I was on a Hollywood movie set initially, that this was just staged and not truly how people live. And then you realize as you get into clinic days and you know now this is our third day, this is how people live day in and day out. It's not a movie set, these are not actors, this is their real life, this is how they live. And that's the sad part of it. The biggest problem for most people, however, is simply the poverty and the inability to afford good health care or any health care and the infrastructure. The medical infrastructure is not good here and so when you get outside the cities, particularly outside Kampala, there's very little health care at all. This is a hospital which is supposed to be 100 bed, but it's having about 200 patients. That's one thing. It is serving a population of about 600,000 people. And the, there are like three medical doctors to look after that population. 100 or 200 doctors graduate from Uganda. 80% of those doctors, they go out. That is the biggest problem. Even if we got money, without the money power, still things will not work out. You know, in these other countries, I don't think we have any concept of you know, if you're injured, if you break your leg, you know, if you get a bad infection and stuff like that, you go to the hospital, they may say, we don't have room for you. We can't take you. Um, not only could we not provide you the medicines for free, we literally don't have the medicines that you need. We literally don't have the surgeon to fix your leg. I'm sorry, you're either going to die from this condition or you'll be permanently disabled. Somebody who came into our clinic just yesterday had a compound fracture in his leg and he hadn't been able to be, be seen for months. Probably four or five months he hadn't been able to receive treatment. What that does is it creates a long-lasting uh, detrimental situation for himself and for his family. Since he's not able to work, he's not able to provide uh, food, he's not able to provide any, any source of revenue for his family to support his family. So his family will suffer from that. Like here, if you're staying in town and if you're, you are at least in the, in the class of the middle class where you have a mosquito net, you are, you are drinking good water and the, yeah, you can take even three months or two months without getting malaria. But people in the rural areas, others, they get malaria on a monthly basis. I look out the window and I see hundreds and hundreds of people that some slept all night waiting to see us. Why would they do that if there's healthcare down the street? trying to make sure that our patients get enough care as possible. They shouldn't come here to be traumatized. They should come here to get a better health care. The attention to the patients is different. Yeah, the, the people are attended to very quickly. The attention is quite very good. The drug range is a bit wide and the speed at which they are, they are worked on is quite very well. And, and the, the, the environment is quite very clean. And people like it. Yeah, people like it. There's a, quite a very big difference. Always frustrating that we won't see the people first maybe a year, maybe never again. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to do a mission where we have a permanent clinic built. And it's so nice to be able to say, come back in a week and we'll check your wounds, we'll check your surgery, 
come back in a month, we'll check your blood pressure again. Um, this is Alex, and he's our medical officer, and he will get to know you and he'll take care of you. These patients are not getting the information from the radios. Are not getting, we are not advertising, but the care we are giving is the one advertising us. And that's why I'm saying with all my sincerity that they are coming because we are giving enough and tremendous care to them. And again, when they get well, they go and tell their friends that there is a clinic which has started. Just go there, you will see how it works. From the beginning of Palmetto Medical, we said three of our primary goals were to educate people, to heal people, and to empower people. We've provided education for people both through public health trainings and education. We've provided ongoing education for our medical staff at the clinic. But one of the most difficult things to do is empower people long term so that the dependency leaves and is off the shoulders of the organization and really becomes the, the success of the project is in the hands of the people. There's an African proverb that says if you want to walk fast in Africa, walk alone. If you want to walk far in Africa, walk together. And as an organization, that's what we're trying to do is walk far in Africa. We want to walk together with the community to make sure that we're meeting needs, healthcare needs of these people for generations to come. Right now, as I see, we have enough equipment, we have enough drugs, we have uh, the personnel will continue increasing, and I hope there will be enough as time goes on. Yeah, it's, it's, we, we have a lot of hope in it. Yeah, we have a lot of hope in it. But here, I have everything at my disposal, equipments, books, come to infection control, I have gloves, I have water to wash my hands, I have everything. That makes me happy and I feel safe when I'm working at this place. I love my job and I love this place. I guess the real question is, if you knew that you could take one week off and it could completely change your life, and it could completely change the lives of other people that are suffering around the world. Or if you knew that you could make a donation that would go directly to people in need, would you do it?